Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chilled Relax Playing Content where we talk about our plans and we just try to grow them how we want to the best we can. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and let's be play friends. So today is day 16 of my philodendron crawling slash climbing collection. And today's guest is my philodendron Burl Marks. And I got this plant from uh, the Garden Hoe on YouTube. Go check out her channel. I like, I love watching her videos. I rewatch her videos. She hasn't posted in a while, but I, I still rewatch her videos. And she gave me this as a little cutting and it has exploded. It, one side of the plant is a little crazy looking. Like, it's just like, it kind of reminds me of my Phil Dungeon Brantianum where like it, it keeps trying, but then something happens. But this side of the plant is beautiful. It's beautiful. I have a little stake in there that I'm going to be replacing. And um, <clears throat> I think this is the newest leaf for part of the plant. You can see it's lighter green. It has these really, the lobes on top are starting to get like really pronounced and really kind of long, which I'm really excited about. There's a little tip at the end of the leaf. And uh, yeah, it, this reminds me of like almost like a Mickey Mouse shape leaf kinda if the the lobes were a little more wider it would be but it's really cute this is like a nice little look at that it's so cute it's so symmetrical you can like fold it in half it looks it's very pretty very pretty plant I had it with this little itty bitty steak we are ready to upgrade I think to a larger steak and um I don't think this plant really needs a steak but it does spread out a lot so that's why I kind of give it a steak and then I kind of just like stick it all together as best as I can. Um, because yeah, we just, we're trying to keep things together. <laughs> we're trying to keep everything together guys. Uh, it doesn't always work, but let's just start grabbing it and sticking it on the pole. That one. Let's do grab stuff, some stuff over here, over here maybe. Uh, the internodal spacing on this plant is really tiny. Um, it's very, it's a very fleshy plant. Um, it hasn't like uh, it hasn't hardened off or became any became woody. And I've had this plant for a while now. At this point, um, there's some aerial roots here and there, but they don't really go too far. Um, yeah, I'm trying to just keep it all together. How does that look? I think that looks good. This is the back of the plant, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, but yeah, so they come in a lighter green and then they fade to like these nice deep dark green colored leaves. There's a vein on the back. It's just the same color as the vein on the front. It's like a lighter almost neon green vein down the middle, almost. This is another newer leaf. It hasn't hardened off yet, but you can see the, the contrast in the veining and the leaf. This also produces like that sticky, that sticky goo. One of these days I'll learn what the name of that sticky glue is, or if you know what that sticky goo is, let me know in the comments below. What is it called? I forget. Uh, but yeah, so I've had her for a while. I have her in this cute little, this is like a cookie jar set. I just drilled a hole into the bottom of it to make it a planter because I liked how it looked. And uh, yeah, this is what we got going on. This is her, my bro Marks. Uh, when I got her, this plant was very hard to come by. Um, so I was like so excited to have her. And uh, I'm still excited to have her. I'm still excited to see how she grows, um, if she's gonna try to spread out. She seems to be putting off like little babies, but the babies are kind of like in the back of the plant. So they don't, they don't thrive as well as the front of the plant does. But yeah, it's a beautiful plant. Right here is crazy looking. Can you see that? I don't know what is going on. This is, I don't know if these are all gonna be new leaves coming out. Like this whole little section. This I think is an aerial root. This is a new leaf coming out of a sheath. But over here, are these aerial roots or are these gonna be leaves? And are they just coming out of the side like that? I don't know. That is weird. It's creepy. I like it. 
I love this plant. Alrighty guys, so this was day 16 of Vlogmas. And until next time, relax, plant, peace out.